with thousands of orders on Amazon and over 1,100 people out of 1,600 and 20 people giving this frog a five star we need to look at it a little bit closer and that's saying a lot for a top water bass fishing bait and we're going to rate it one out of ten in several categories and the categories include action casting hooks skirt price paint and then collapsibility and then after that, you can decide if it is worth purchasing. But before we do that, make sure you click that like and subscribe button, please. But we also have to pick the best and the worst to put it up against. Since I think a majority of the people have fished this frog and it's well recognized as one of the best, I think we're gonna have the top as the Spro Bronze Eyes. So for this video, we're gonna say the Spro Bronze Eyes is the best and those really crappy frogs, top water frogs you get in subscription tackle boxes is the bottom of the barrel. So we're gonna start off with action. Now the action of the bait of this Amazon frog kit is decent. I wouldn't say it's great. It does bob like a normal frog does move in the water. Uh, it does have a little bit of a walk the dog action, but I think you'll notice that a lot of times the frog wants to flip over. It wants to go belly up instead of belly down. Uh, so that has a little bit of influence on my rating here. At first I didn't notice it, but then when I went back and looked at the GoPro footage, I noticed that the white belly was always up top or up top several times. So for, for action, I'd given it, I'd started giving it a five, but after seeing the, the footage, I'm gonna give it a three. Our next category is casting, and this is where surprisingly this frog excels almost better than a majority of the frogs I've ever used. And I've really had to think about this, but for casting, this is gonna get us, I'm gonna give you a score right off the bat. The casting of this frog is exceptional. It goes a mile. I'm not joking, it goes a mile. And I'm gonna give it a nine. <clears throat> Do I think it's perfect? No, it's as close to perfect as it can be for something this like this. Now here's my theory on why this, this frog casts so well. And I think when that bait is being cast, because there's so little, so little skirt, it just casts perfect. It doesn't, has a little bit more aerodynamics. Now I don't know if this is right or true or anything it's the only thing i can i can put it put my hands to it and really say what 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 is so different about this frog than another frog and really it just comes down to that skirt our next category because we said it in the last one is skirt the skirt's horrible it's hands down the worst skirt i've ever seen on a frog i think on each one because you get five per pack there's five or six strands of skirt on either side for legs and that's really pathetic i mean i think in general i wouldn't know how much a skirt costs but i wouldn't think it costs that much but the skirt is horrible so in terms of the skirt i gave it a one our next category is hooks now it doesn't have a double barbed frog hook on it but the barb is very minimum uh, in fact, there's a lot of times you can just take your finger and run it over where the barb is and the barb doesn't catch, doesn't catch your finger. Uh, the hooks are okay at best. They're not great. Uh, they are somewhat st uh, sharp and sticky. I will say they're not directly into the bait. So a lot of times if you're going over a lot of grass, you're gonna find yourself with grass underneath the hook and that's a problem for me. Uh, but the hooks, while not the best, not the worst, but really close to being as bad as, as you want. So in terms of the hooks, I gave it a three. And I should mention with the skirt, there were a lot of times if you pulled on it, it pulled out and you lost them real fast. So the frog became a skirtless frog there towards the end. Next is paint. And that's where when you start looking at the price at $1.59 each or five for seven, eight bucks, the paint isn't the worst, but the paint isn't the best. They do have white underbodies, which I which bothers me, and they're just really a generic paint job. Are they good? 
yeah, they're good. Not great, not exceptional, they're not the worst, but they're not the best at the same time. So in terms of paint, I gave it, and I should mention, I hated the paint. I don't like the paint at all. I gave them a score of four. Now, one of the most important parts of a frog is the collapsibility. Do you have to squeeze it to get water out? Uh, is it, will it collapse when a bass or a predator fish eats it? The collapsibility and the hooks are the most important part of the frog and, and the action. But in this case, since we're just breaking it down one by one, the collapsibility isn't bad. It isn't great again. There's a lot of not bads and not greats in this frog. I found that uh, the hooks don't really expose all the way. Uh, they expose a little bit, but because the hooks aren't really good, I'm not sure if you're going to catch a lot of fish because of the barbs. So while the collapsibility isn't as bad as like, uh, isn't as good as like a scum frog by any chance, it's not as bad as like the Guggen frog, which is just, I don't think is uncollapsible. There's a lot of fro other frogs out there that when you get that bite, you can set the hook instantly. But the, the thing that most people do wrong when frog fishing is that they don't have the patience or wait or count that one Mississippi. I think if you wait a couple Mississippis on this frog, you'll catch fish. But the collapsibility isn't great, so I gave the collapsibility a four. Now we'll get to the price. The price is exceptional. Uh, if, if you could go on the price and the casting of this lure, this would be a, a 10 out of 10. The price is ridiculous. You get five baits for $7.98, which equals $1.59 a bait. And that is unbelievable. Now, you have to remember you're getting what you pay for. Are there better frogs in that three to four to five dollar range? Yes, you can get an inexpensive scum frog for right around five or six bucks, where you're gonna catch more fish on that frog because a lot of times, like I mentioned in the collapsibility, when you're new to frog fishing, you're not patient. When you're frog fishing and you get that top water explosion, you're, you're so excited you set the hook instantly. That, that bass wants to turn that frog around in its mouth and then swallow it and you need to wait. So with this bait, you really do have to be even more patient than most frogs. So in terms of price, because $1.59, I don't think you can beat. In terms of price, I give it a 10 because honestly, you get five frogs for under eight bucks. I think you can catch fish with them. That is exceptional, exceptional. I do think that you'll be get frustrated fishing these, these baits. I think as they turn upside down, that's a mistake. I think that they bounce and wobble. The action is just okay. But if we're going on price and casting, this is a 10. So in price, we're giving it a 10. So my wrap up is, I don't think you should purchase these. Uh, I think that they're a great price. They're a great, they cast well. I think you probably could catch some fish, but if you're gonna spend $8 for five, I just think you're better off getting a really good eight dollar topwater frog i think that's uh, i think you'll you'll be more you'll be happier but also if you find one that's more collapsible the hooks expose a little bit faster you're going to catch more fish i just think that most people that are new anglers and i'm not talking to the advanced anglers here new anglers that aren't frog fishermen they're going to get very frustrated and irritated by this frog when you like i said when you see that explosion you're going to set the hook and most people don't realize they need to be just chill out and count and it's the biggest mistake people make when frog fishing you don't give it time you don't give the bass time to get it in the right position to set the hook you need to feel the fish before you set the hook and that's the hardest thing to do i'm even guilty of doing it now i get that top water explosion and i instantly set the hook and i have that frog coming back at me at mach 5 at my face you need to wait and I think in this case, because the collapsibility isn't very good and the hooks are not very good and that bar, especially the barb on the hook isn't very good, I just think you'll find yourself very frustrated and pissed off that you purchased this frog and probably would stop frog fishing. But during the summer and warmer months, frog fishing is fantastic. That bite is what we all crave. But this is another frog. This is a frog that I just think if you're gonna buy one, if you're gonna spend eight bucks, just get yourself the bronze eye from Spro or a scum frog, or there's many different frogs that are just really good. But this one, in my opinion, isn't worth, worth purchasing. Well, hopefully this helps you learn more about the Amazon Topwater Frog Kit. 
so are you going to buy one tell me in the comments below thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button if you like this kind of content please subscribe to the channel it really does help okay remember take a kid fishing get your fish on comment below if you're buying one talk to you soon cheers